Hey, this is Fiber Hill Michelle. Um, wasn't sure if everything would work because my computer was messed up for a while and I, you know, it's easier when your computer just works, you can talk into it. I hate to edit my own videos and listen to what I had to say. I just like things honest and I talk from my heart. And some people really appreciate that. Thank you guys for the comments because you really keep me going. I swear I get two, three comments a day and your subscriptions, four or five a day, and I feel bad I haven't kept up with it. But I hope somehow what I've been through has helped your experience a little bit. And I need to start trying to be a little bit more direct about it. I've had more bad experiences with doctors, uh, pain management, friends, family. Um, basically, if you have a pain condition and you still look okay, no one is going to get it. Always try to see a doctor that someone else has recommended that is in pain. I actually went to a pain clinic, okay? I have all my medical records. I just, you know, I went to Miami University with Nancy Klimas. Right on the front it says patient complains of sweating. Um, I got some two teeth removed. And I don't dare put the implants in because some of you read about what I experienced through trigenital nerves. And it's been going on again. I mean, I thought, again, I had a cavity because the pain went from my tooth into my face, into my head, neck, ears. So waited it out for a week, and guess what? It went away. Then uh, tried to bend down. The pain was in my hip so bad I thought I was going to die went out of it. Now my ankle sprained, even though I didn't sprain it. I went through that as a kid all the time. So you know what? Your body will get attacked in so many different ways. I lay in bed sometimes and it's like, it's like you can't describe pain to somebody that's never felt it. What you have to say is, um, excuse me, doctor or friend or parent, what is the worst pain you've ever had? And a woman that's had a child can understand it something because but they forget it because they see their kid and you know they're so happy but whatever I never had kids because I was always in pain I wouldn't be able to pick up a child I still can't I have viruses now with the chronic fatigue um, mono and CMV so I don't dare be around other people's children even though I love children because I don't want them ever to even get near what I'm going through I really am torn up by you guys that write to me that are young 19 and 20 year olds. Man, I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes all you can do is lay in bed because you hurt so bad. But I, I do have to tell you something because I've been through it lately. One reason I made videos is um, I started getting up every day in uh, late August and I was good till about three weeks ago. Didn't mean I felt well. Didn't mean I was out of pain. It meant I was able to get up and actually paint a bit in my studio. Thank God I had somewhere to leave my house where my comfortable bit is and come to that wasn't too far. Because driving is no longer an option. I can't really tell distances. Lights. Um, my feet hurt too bad. They hit the, you know, the pedals. Um... You know, people don't understand all the stuff you lose. Like going to uh, the movies. There's no way with the lights and the sound. It'll send you, not basically into um, what people call, you know, a spasm or a, I don't know, it just, that happens to me. We went to the mall. I had to go to the mall yesterday because that's where iMac was. I needed to fix my computer so I could do these videos. Man, going in the mall, the lights, the sound, the people. If I didn't have my partner there, I couldn't do it. I tried once before. I had to run out because you've got to park. you got to walk. you got, you know, it's just too much. And that's what makes you disabled. And those are the things that people will never understand because they'll see you and say, oh, you look good. Because, you know, what? once I finally get up, if I see someone, the last thing I'm going to talk about is being ill because I'm finally out of bed. I'm finally up. I want to try and act normal so I can still be, you know? And all I can say to you kids and the people who have been writing to me, I know 
you can't listen to the people that say exercise. Exercise is out. I tried it. It made me worse. It'll make you worse. All I can say to you is, you know, a lot of liquid. Uh, I drink almond milk. It's got more calcium and potassium than soy or... Uh, and I put uh, whey powder in there for a protein because if you guys are like me, if you eat, you feel worse. If I don't eat, I have more energy. Once I eat, I'm done. I'm in pain. Then I have the pains like you're going to have diarrhea, but you don't have it. Then once it ever comes out, I mean, you never have a bowel movement that's like normal people. You never do. And sometimes you can't pee. I mean, if you have ME, fibro, and these autoimmune diseases, they attack at all different kinds of places at all different times. That's why my new painting, it's like a person on a cross. Because, you know, it is in all the major places where the nails were. It is in the ribs. The first complaint I had actually was on my left side, and I felt the pain under my shoulder blade. You know, it's funny, my mother that never has called me since I've been ill has never given me anything, which is very difficult when you're ill. You want your mommy when you're sick. Mommy's not going to be there. You can't want mommy. That's just how it is. We're going to be lonely, guys, and we're going to have to deal with it. But we have to get up. We have to do something that reminds us of the person we were. I got to tell you, I see, you know, I've watched more TV than ever because I never watched TV before. I was always busy. So the people that have had tough lives we see on like CSI or like Law and Order, you know, or whatever. Well, they have all these bad people because people were bad to them. And then these people start hurting other people. Well, people like us, we've had tough lives, but we don't hurt anyone else. I guess it goes inside, and I'm not saying it's all emotional, and I'm not saying it's in our heads. I'm just saying with my life, I could have done a lot of different things that I've seen people do, like, you know, as younger, be a dancer or a drug dealer or whatever the hell, but I always kept as many jobs as I could and helped as many people as I could and did the right things. And you know what? It hasn't helped me now because I'm alone all the time. No one ever wants to be around someone that's sick, especially if you tell the truth about it. So I can't give anybody advice, and I hate when people try to give you advice. You know, they look at someone like me and they say, well, try a diet or try this or try that. I started get. I've been ill my whole life, basically. When I was a kid, I always had bad ears. I talked about like things. My feet, my legs were in... Uh, you know, corrective shoes. Try to call and ask my mom about it. She went in and didn't tell me what was wrong. Isn't that nice of her? Anyway, I don't like to give advice because I don't know. All of us are different. All I know is when you have autoimmune, it's going to hit you in different places at different times and take away different things. And all we can do is try to get up, keep a good peace of mind. I started painting. These are my paintings behind us. I lost that bird. I used to have a green bird named Minnie Me. Oop, there it is on that side. I couldn't believe I drew her. It made me feel good inside. So try something, anything to make yourself feel good. Try to comb your hair and put on your makeup. It does make you feel better if you're a girl. If you're a guy, you know, try to look good. You know, sometimes we don't because people don't believe we're sick, but you know what? Fuck them. People get mad when I say a four-letter word. But they don't get mad that we can't have pain management. They don't get mad that uh, the economy is in ruins. They don't help their fellow man like I do. They get mad because I say a four-letter word. I say, fuck them. You know, a lot of people say, put your trust in God. God will heal you. You know what? you got to help yourself. There's no one that can help you. You have to take it in your own hands. You have to research it. You've got to find out the doctor you're going to. Hell, I went to a new pain doctor. He took one look at me. I was sweating profusely, which is part of my problem, which is well documented in the last 20 years I've been ill. And I got some dental work done. If you got a bad tooth, don't get, um, you know, what's it called? Uh, you know, where they, a root canal. 
and don't put another tooth on top because it, it will stay in your body, all of that nasty stuff. Take the tooth out. And I'm not even going to get one of those that implants because if you got autoimmune, your body's not going to accept it. More white cells. So anyway, he saw me. I was probably sweating, wasn't looking that good. Mornings are hard. This new doctor, Dr. Milne in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, right off West Dixie. Uh, cute guy. Um, from what I heard, he saw a young blonde girl with big tits and gave her everything, even though she wanted Xanax. But, you know, looked one one thing at my records and what I was taking for pain management and called me a drug addict. Didn't look at anything else. And he has on his record, he's a pain management specialist. So that's the type of things I am still experiencing at 45 being, you know, and I, I haven't been on painkillers for all you people that are going to write and say it's wrong, even though you don't know what the hell you're talking about. I've been going through this for 25 years now, and I've only been on painkillers since uh, 2005 um, when I had a Harley wreck, not of my own fault, and I broke my left side again, okay? The whole left side. And then a few years after that, I had a hysterectomy I didn't need because I had good insurance. So if you have insurance and somebody wants to put you under the table and operate on you, say no. Anytime you get operated on with ME, FM, what they, they don't know what the hell anything is, but don't get operated on. Don't go under the table. Don't get boobs. Don't get your face done. Stay away from operations. Try to eat as well as you can. Try to get up. Try to be the person you were before. If you played football, at least put on your football jersey. and Just remember, you're a special person. And the fact you wrote to me means you still want to be in the game because you've seen me try and fail and try. And some of you have seen my other videos, my older videos, where my sister committed suicide. Guess what? Her son did not too long ago. So you can't do stuff like that. You can't do it. You got to keep trying. I'm painting. I'm trying to help you guys. Help someone else. It feels great. Anyway, Fibro Hell Michelle, I'm sorry I haven't done stuff. Um, I got a lot more to talk to you about. I, I just want to help, and I want you to help me too. And you guys help me by subscribing to my account and by, by leaving your comments, even if I haven't been up on them. I read them, and I think, God these people are going through so much hell and they've trusted me enough to write to me and I love you for it. I really do. Fibro Hell Michelle, keep trying. There are some resources out there. If you're on Facebook, I'm Michelle Sertonio. Just Google my name, M-I-C-H-E-L-E Sertonio, C-E-R-T-O-N-I-O. I've got a blog. I've got photographs I've taken. I was never a photographer. I was never trained to be a painter. I was never trained to be a singer. But I do it all just because I have to. I have to still be a vibrant artist. And you guys are too. And I love all of you for writing to me. You guys, over 8,000 comments from you guys. And two or three subscriptions a day, even though I haven't made it. You guys are the best. And I want us all to be good. But we all have to get together like they did with HIV and AIDS. We have to demand research. We have to demand people help. We have to demand doctors get educated so they stop making us feel worse than we are because our families do a great job of it, don't they? Anyway, we got each other, right? Oh, my hair's my hair. I don't know which place. Okay, Fiber Hell Michelle, I will make another video tomorrow. I got a lot to make up for it. Thanks for believing me. Bye-bye. Oh! Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Oh, my favorite song. Uh, a rockin' around the Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. And yes, I'm going to make my own CD soon, even though it's hard. You know, just try to get out of bed. One thing each day. I can do it, you can do it. Love you guys. Bye. And... Okay, Andy, no. Stop.